Hey, Mark. Mark. What? Well, you know, I was thinking, and uh, you know the saw blade baseball bat thing? Yeah. Well, well, I thought to myself, how can I make this more dangerous? Naturally. And, well, I, I came up with uh, this little number right here. I'm calling the cops. Ooh, it looks like I already have some place where I can use it. Hey guys, I have a pretty little number here for you today that I have dubbed the Early Retirement. Four hardened steel saw blades strapped and then riveted to a 29 inch aluminum baseball bat. I think this is the most dangerous thing I've built so far and it is absolutely terrifying. So let's jump straight into this build. Okay, so for this build you're going to need an aluminum baseball bat, some angle iron, some flat bar, this is left over from the machete halberd build four identical or very similar saw blades and a whole bunch of rivets. So the first thing you gotta do is get a measurement of the bat's cross section and it is two and a quarter across. Now you just need to mark this off on the saw blade based on how you want it to be cut. Now just cut out the saw blade. Once everything gets riveted together, it's going to end up being put together like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the tips of the blades white because it'll be a hassle to later. As well as the bottom of the baseball bat. Now I'm just going to mark and cut out 12 1 inch pieces of angle iron. This is galvanized so I'm using a respirator. Now just mark a hole dead center-ish on all of them and drill through. And when you're done with that, you'll have this. Make sure you drill the holes in them a little bit wider so the rivets can get through. Now we're going to begin to assemble the bat. First you gotta set it up like so, and so everything is just aligned right, and then you set the brackets all around it on the side that you then need to go on. Then you take your marker, but you only mark out one hole on each side. And 
And now just go ahead and drill out the saw blades. I can already tell you that's going to be a pain in the ass. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble this part and pop the rivets. Then just put it together like this and now you can pop the rivets. Then just pop all the rivets. Mm. And this is what it should look like when you're done with that. Now you're going to want to take a string and measure between each of the saw blades. And make sure you label everything so you don't lose track of what's what. Now just mark out all the different lengths on your flat bar. Then just cut the pieces out. Now clamp the straps that will be next to each other and drill a hole through both. Now just bend each one so they fit around the back. And when you're done, this should look like this. But definitely don't be afraid to score these angles with the angle, angle grinder before you bend them. Because steel is a very hard, tough metal, and doing that will help a lot. Now just clamp everything together and mark out all the holes. Now just drill the holes out. Then you just gotta really just force it together in any way, shape, or form that you can think of. For this, some of the options are pounding, squeezing things together, forcing stuff through holes, drilling new holes and then forcing stuff through those, and also just plain old clamps and hope. Then once you've sufficiently clamped and hoped, you can just kind of pop the rivets. And once you've magicked this thing together, just drill through each one of these straps straight into the bat and pop rivets through and secure it onto the bat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide on the other two saw blades that they're like this and we're going to get the bottom one level and we're going to measure the distance in between with a piece of string now take that length plus two times the height of a single piece of angle iron and mark it out on your flat bar Now line up the brackets on the bat so you can mark out where you want to drill the holes. And now just drill through all the dots you marked out. And remember to use a liberal amount of oil 
And please, please clamp your work down when you're using a drill press, if you're using a drill press. Cannot emphasize that enough. Two drill bits later. It is legitimately scary drilling through this stuff. Well, I no longer trust this drill bit enough to use it. Now mark the notches out on all the straps, making sure to keep things color coordinated. Now just clamp them together with the notches lined up and drill through. And when you're done drilling holes, you should have four straps of eight holes. Now put all the pieces of angle iron on the right bar so we can mark out on the bottom where we need to cut for the score. Make sure you score right below the line you marked out and definitely make sure it's not too deep. I just bend them all in the vise. Now I have all your pieces, you can start putting stuff together. Now just pop the rivets. Now to get the second saw blade on, you're gonna need to use the old tried and true method, forcing and hope, and when you're on there, you wanna pop the rivets. Now just go ahead and hammer it on there. So that's as far down as I'm gonna get in that. Just about where I wanted it anyway. Now I'm gonna drill a hole anywhere I wanna put a rivet. So I have about half an hour of footage that I don't really want to or need to show you. So just drill through the center of each strap between the saw blades as well as the angle iron. Also be super careful during this part because there's a huge risk to cut yourself on one of the saw blades while drilling through them. And then just pop all 12 rivets. Kill me. I just tape up anything that you don't want to be the color black and give it a nice coat of paint. And while that's drying, I think I'm gonna go get myself some McDonald's. Uh, can I get a two cheeseburgers meal with a sweet iced tea instead of a soda? No, that'll be all. Thank you. You're welcome.
Sounds good. Then once the paint dries, you have yourself one awesome weapon. This is incredibly awesome and incredibly dangerous. Whew. Me and Gowan, the demolition dude Keen, are really excited to test this thing out. And I hope you are too. I hope you all are excited to see this just destroy some stuff. Have a fantastic day. Peace.